Love last night, didn't you? Nicole, are you all right? What? You know, I was thinking about feeding the chapel pink, you know, for the ceremony. That's good. Nicole! What? Hey, you know, you're sorry. not even listening to I'm me. Sorry, I, I know. I just didn't sleep very well last night. His father still had that detective outside your door. Cass sleeps on the couch. I sleep in the bed. That's gonna be awkward. It is. How are Cass and I gonna keep this masquerade up 24 hours a day? Well, you know you have to. Well, it's one thing knowing it. It's another thing having to do it. Why? What's happened? It's just something I should have seen coming. Oh, no. Cass isn't trying to exercise his husbandly privileges, is he? Just the opposite. I think he's having an affair. how you feel, why don't you just talk to him about it and get it all out in the open? No, you don't understand, Cass. Now, he'll never admit the truth if he thinks he'll offend me. I see. Would you be offended? Donna, now let's face it. We both know that Cass is very attractive. Now, he could have a lot of women. So? Well, he's doing me a favor by marrying me. Nicole. Are you going to be hurt if you find out he is having an affair? Donna, I cannot expect him to ignore other women for an entire three months. You're not answering my question. What question? Let me put it to you another way. You're jealous of Cass, aren't you? How can you possibly be jealous of Nicole? I think I have every right to be. You don't trust me. Look, when I agreed to this charade, you said you wouldn't sleep with her. I haven't even touched her. I've been sleeping on the sofa. Oh, you think of everything, don't you? I didn't think you'd be so suspicious. Oh, yeah? And who are these cleaning hey, ladies? They're just a bunch of flowers. They're a friendly gesture. Oh, yeah? And what's this? What's this? Another gesture? Monique. What? Don't open that. Something you don't want me to see? Satisfied? To the next step in our plan. Your wedding band. Yes, the wedding bands. 
Nicole and I are married and I've collected her trust fund money. They will be our wedding bands. It seems fitting somehow, don't you think? Oh, I wish I could believe you. When Nicole Love is dead, we will not only be together, we will be rich. Unless you fall in love with her in the meantime. I could accuse you of the same thing. What are you talking about? You're spending all of your time with the real Cass Winthrop. What's to prevent you from oh, falling in love? Oh, don't be ridiculous. He isn't half the man you are. And Nicole isn't half the woman you are. Je t'adore, chérie. Je te le jure. More than your wife? She was unfaithful. What did she ever see in Cass Winthrop? I don't want to talk about her. It's just you and me now. We have to trust each other. I want to. Don't you realize that what we have is something very special? Do you know how rare it is for someone to trust another person like I trust you? I would do anything for you. I love you so much, Rex. And I love you. I just want this to be over so that you and I can finally be together. Soon. Three more months and it, all our problems will be over. But that is such a long time. Suppose, suppose something goes wrong. Nothing has gone wrong so far. You have to have faith in the plan. I do. I just, I can't help it if I miss you. That will have to hold you for a while. Call me tonight. If I get the chance. Otherwise, you will just have to trust me. I do. I will. Now go, go. Go back to the Bent House and keep an eye on Winthrop. I love you, Rex. Please, don't ever think that Cass Winthrop could mean anything to me. I don't. I don't. He can go out as much as he wants, as long as he doesn't jeopardize our arrangement. Oh, Nicole, do you really expect me to believe this? You know as well as I do that Father is just waiting for us to make one little slip. Then he'll never let me get my hands on that trust fund. I know how important this money is to you. No, it's not just the money. It's my chance to prove I can do something. Oh, honey, I just don't want to see you hurt. You're blowing this all out of proportion. I am worried about you. And I am worried about you. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. This is not about me. This is about you. I wish you'd have let me tell Michael that you're pregnant. No. And you have got to promise me that you're not going to either. Donna, you can't wait forever. I, you know, I really don't want to talk about this right now. It's not something you can hide. No, and neither are your feelings for Cass. Cass and I are just friends. You know, have you ever noticed that every time you mention his name lately, you clench your teeth? I do not. I feel nothing for Cass Winthrop. You're doing it again. I am not. Yes, you are. Doing what? Donna... Oh, Cass. Hi. Hi. Um, Donna was just saying that she thinks we're rushing these plans. She's just not having enough time to get everything together. Oh, come on, Donna. You're not backing out on us now, are you? Well, I admit I... I still have a few reservations about... Oh, reservations? The hotel. The honeymoon. Have you made them? Well, I thought you hadn't made up your mind where we were going yet. Well, we've only got till Friday. Come on. Let's go make a decision. Okay. Are you having trouble swallowing? What mm -hmm. happened? It's my souffle. What souffle? This one. Oh, did you make it? Yeah. Do you want some water? The Heimlich maneuver? No. Really, I'm fine. It just, it just went down the wrong way. All right. It's terrible, isn't it? You can tell me. No, no. In fact, it's, it's unbelievable. You liked it? Mm. Like what? My corn souffle. I was just having Jamie try it out. <coughs> corn souffle. I love it. Can I try it? Sure. No. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't uh, finished yet. No. Well, that's good. I can hardly wait. Yeah, let me get in on some of this, too. I want you guys to be really honest with me. I, I know you don't have to like it just because Jamie does. And just remember, I love her. You know, it's not really fair to test it, you know? 
I mean, the souffle, you should take the need when it comes right out of the oven before it had a chance to fall. Mm-hmm. You mean it's supposed to be higher than this? Is this peanut butter in here? Yeah, that's the secret ingredient. Oh, maybe you should keep it a secret. <laughs> Maybe you could give me some pointers. <laughs> Maybe later, all right? I will go check on some Turkish stuff. <laughs> Maybe you should invest in a new cookbook. I'll help. <laughs> you cook? Well, I used to watch Bridget. Well, with the three of us working on this, we should come up with something spectacular. Then. I'd settle for edible. <laughs> well, listen, why don't we go over to Max and, and Mom's house later on, huh? Can we cook there? Sure, Helen will uh, help us out. I don't want to get in her way. Helen loves a kitchen full of people. <laughs> Well, I bet she'll 86 the peanut butter. <laughs> we'll find a way to sneak it in. Listen, I've got to uh, get back to the hospital. If I want to uh, get some time off tonight. Okay. So, uh, I'll see you then. Uh, Jamie, maybe I'll see you over there. At the hospital? Yeah, well, I have a meeting with the head of the volunteers tonight. Oh, that's great. They're going to love you. <laughs> have them page me when you get there, okay? Oh, sure, sure. Fantastic. Listen, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, look who's back. Hi. Hi. Mm, not half as much as Mac did. How was Zerk? Cold, busy. How's everything here? Just fine. How's Amanda? You know, Matthew got a B-plus in the Spanish test. Is Amanda still working uh, at Sam's Love? You know, I talked to Mac today, and he said that his plane's due at 2 o'clock. You're ignoring my question. Mm, you noticed. Is she going to tear herself away to have Thanksgiving dinner with us? Keep your fingers crossed. Where's Mom? The kitchen. Maybe she'll level with me. <laughs> with Matthew to the hospital. Welcome home. Okay, thanks, honey. Vicki, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. You know, Jamie is so sweet. He, he just takes care of everyone, doesn't he? Yeah, he's wonderful. Too bad he's not a twin. Well, he does have a cousin. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, he's walking in right now. Mm -hmm. Your table at Tops is waiting. Saturday starting at 1, SoapNet serving up another world. Here. Bravo. Whet your appetite with Monday through Friday's episodes in a row. Make your reservation for another world. Saturday starting at 1, SoapNet. Pure soap 24-7. The new way to watch soaps. On the next Soap Talk. Does seeing Thomas Calabro take Lisa back to her Melrose days? Come on, just really slap yeah. me. Plus, underwear for your man. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at this. And will Peggy McKay throw down some rhymes? Listen, you'll have to help me. Okay. Soap Talk, weeknights at 11, only on SoapNet. It's over. SoapNet, pure soap, 24-7. Part-time lipsticks need not apply. Day overtime lip color. It's color stay. Non-stop color, food proof color. And over the top shine in one tube. Overtime lip color. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. Oh, come on, Nate. You're gonna be late. Okay. Get out of bed! Get out of bed! Sometimes moms need a little help getting their families going. That's why every morning should begin with Florida orange juice. The best start under the sun. I want to play 18 holes. I want to touch my toes. For back pain, Tylenol 8 hour. If my back goes, I don't go. The first layer dissolves fast. The second one keeps working for up to eight long hours. The pain has left the premises. Take the ribbon from my hair. They sang songs about life and love. Shake it loose and let it fall. They captured our hearts. Got the sheets to lie on. Time Life Music proudly presents the Queens of Country. Well, I was born to call minor daughter. Loretta Lynn. Kitty Wells. In a cabin. Dolly Parton. Tammy Wynette. You'll get 30 country classics by all the great ladies of country. If I could only win you love. Emmy Lou Harris. I make Tanya Tucker. Patsy Cline. 
Get the Queens of Country on two CDs or cassettes for just $19.99. I want to tell you all a story about a Harper Valley widow. Plus, call with your credit card and we'll cut the price in half. Once a day. That's right. You get 30 hits for just $9.99. I beg your pardon. I never promised. You'll treasure this collection forever. Funny face. I love you. Then review other classic country collections. Satisfaction guaranteed. So use your credit card and get two great albums for just $9.99. Call 1-800-418-9292 to order Queens of Country on two CDs or two cassettes for just $9.99 plus shipping and handling when you use your credit card. Or send $19.99 to Queens of Country, Department 16. Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Or order online at timelife.com. Hey, John. Mind if I sit down? Not at all. Ain't you see the paper? How about those bears? You think they're gonna make it this year? This is about my cellmate, isn't it? Casual approach isn't working. Oh. He followed me here. John, follow is such a harsh word. Adam, I'm not gonna work with you. Well, why not? I didn't much care for those CID guys when I was in the service. Not my style. Sorry you feel that way. I think you'd really enjoy working on this case. Why? Well, listen, I won't take up any more of your time. I know you're busy. Change your mind. You know where to get in touch with me. Well, hello, ladies. Sergeant Corey. Am I going to see you later at Uncle Max? You'll see the both of us. Really? Yeah, we're going to be doing some cooking. Great. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell, uh, tell Mac that I'll pick that uh, firewood up on the way over to the house, will you? Okay. All right. See you later. He likes you. Come on, he was just being polite. Don't underestimate yourself. You're the one who has the way with men, Lisa. What way? Oh, come on, you're sweet and nice and You are, too. No, I'm not. You know, I bet you probably don't even argue. Jamie and I argue all the time. Oh, yeah, about what? Silly things. He likes my hair up. I like it down. Oh, well, that's important. <laughs> huh? No, I'm just not. I'm not just a pushover. No, I didn't mean it that way. I trust Jamie enough to argue with him. I bet Adam would be like that, too. Yeah, maybe. Well, I better get over to that hospital, right? Okay. Yeah, interview. And Good luck. See you at the court. See you at the court. <laughs> later. Sure. Bye. Going to even come over and say hello? No. Look, Vicky, we can't keep avoiding each other forever. We can try. Why are you so frightened of me? I'm not. I thought you wanted everyone to tell the truth. I do. And why do you run every time you hear it? Exercises? I got bored. So, back from seeing sexy Rexy? I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, and sooner than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Don't start. Are we going to get testy already? Nothing is going on between Rex and Nicole. So everything is working out according to the plan? Exactly. You know, if you ask me, Rex is getting the best of this plan. If you mean because he doesn't have to sit here and listen to you, I totally agree. Hey, honey, nobody's invited you in here. You can always stay on your side of the door, you know. Well, how else am I going to see what you're up to? Well, there's nothing up my sleeves, that's for sure. Nothing up my shirt. What are you doing? I'm going to take a shower, do you mind? Do you enjoy being rude? What's the matter? Turn you on? I couldn't be less interested. Oh, yeah? I'll bet Nicole finds this sexy when Rexy does it. Rex doesn't. 
doesn't shower. <laughs> you are trying to make me angry. If this is the effect it has on you, it has been a long time, hasn't it? He told me he's being faithful. <laughs> yeah, right, and the check is in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't touched Nicole, and he's not going to. What did he do, give you the family jewels for safekeeping? Oh, you're disgusting. I also happen to be honest. You know, I don't know how he can keep a straight face when he lies to you. Especially since the face is mine. I am the only woman that Rex wants. Don't kid yourself. He's already got you. Rex only wants what he doesn't have. You don't know him at all. Oh, I think I do. We have a bond, he and I. <laughs> Why, because you slept with his wife? No. Because he killed mine. An eye for an eye. He wanted more than that. He wanted me locked up here so that he could get that trust fund money from Nicole. <laughs> Once he gets it, he'll kill her, too. And that'll put an end to it, huh? Oh, yes. Once and for all. Well, now, see, that's where I think you're making your big mistake. I'm not so sure Rex wants to see Nicole end. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm packing for the honeymoon. You know, it's not enough to just make the hotel reservations. Yes, I know that. Well, you should be packing, too. Something's bothering you. Yeah, I can't find a belt to go with this dress. And that makes you angry? No, it just makes me frustrated. It's... You sound a little angry. Are you trying to pick a fight? No, no, I'm actually trying to avoid one. Well, you could have fooled me. Will you tell me what's wrong with you? Look, nothing is wrong. Everything's going according to plan, right? <laughs> you just put pajamas in your suitcase. So? Well, we've been talking about Hawaii for a honeymoon, remember? They're very fetching, however. Well... <sighs> It was an honest mistake. I, I just wasn't looking. Nicole, if you and I are going to go through with this marriage thing, we're going to have to trust each other. I couldn't agree more. Then why are you lying to me? Lying? Me? Well, I'm not the one who's putting pajamas in my suitcase instead of negligees. Why are you making this big Be thing about it? Something is obviously bothering you, and you're not talking to me about no, it. No, I'm fine. Oh, no, no, no. No, you don't. You're not going to take the easy way out. Now, either you tell me what's bothering you, or this whole wedding is off. Well, that is fine, too. What? You mean fine that it's off, or fine you're going to tell me? Both. Maybe you don't want to marry me anyway, since you're seeing another woman. Everyone had a motive. I swear I'll kill him. Get you for this is the last thing I do. But who shot J.R.? November 14th, starting at 6, on SoapNet. Once upon a time, in a little house in the Swiss countryside, a maiden entered a bedroom and saw three lotions. The first lotion left her skin too dry. The second, too greasy. The third, St. Ives Whipped Silk with a new soft, gentle scent was more than just right. It turned her dry, dry skin into silky, smooth skin. She then discovered new Whipped Silk Body Wash. And from that day forward, it was softness ever after. The softness is yours. The secret is Swiss. St. Ives. Don't count me out. That's what I'm saying. I got the style and I'll bring the pain. Uh, I'm gonna knock you out. Uh, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Turn a little bit there to the side. Fruit of the Loom, boxers. Now a button fly, boxer brief, and tartan plaid. Good. Boxers. Boxing. Honest mistake. Finally, bacon that tastes skillet fresh. In seconds, it's pre-cooked and specially seasoned. Fresh Taste Fast Bacon by Jimmy Dean. I was looking for something special. Elegant. One of a kind. I knew I'd find it at Chico's. You'll find something new every day at Chico's in stores, by phone, or online. Call 888-855-4986 or log on to Chico's.com. I like Chico's.
Moving in. Sweet. The up, the downs, the pain. The moment of choice. Tylenol or Advil? Advil liquid gels work faster, stronger, better than extra strength Tylenol on tough pain. For faster relief, advance to Advil relief. You could save up to 70% on term life insurance. Watch. Everyone wants security for their family. So I started thinking, do I have enough insurance? Could I afford more? So I called Zurich Direct. It was easy. In minutes, I had a free quote for a policy I could afford. My job is to help people get the insurance they need. I listen and ask a few questions. So you get a quote that's just right. We're Zurich Direct, part of Zurich Financial Services Group, over $206 billion strong. And through Zurich Direct, you can save up to 70% on term life insurance. Call now for a free quote. We couldn't figure out how much protection we needed. Dave at Zurich Direct asked the right questions. He didn't pressure us. And I got a $300,000 policy for just $26 a month. I help families like the Sheridan save money every day. And I can help them pick just the right amount of protection they need. Call Zurich Direct now for your free quote. It's easy. There's no obligation. Just savings up to 70% on the right policy for you. Call now, 1-800-556-TERM. This month, get the best pay-per-view titles in the comfort of your home with DirecTV Pay-Per-View. You can order from a huge selection of new movies every week. With frequent start times and digital technology, you get immediate movie satisfaction any time of day. And you never need to pick up the phone. Just order using your remote. For complete listings, consult your on-screen guide starting at channel 100. Or log on to our website at directtv.com slash movies. You want the truth, all right. I can't help that I'm related to you, but I wish I weren't. Vicki, I know you've been hurt. Do you? Do you also know how much I hate what you and Donna did? It's a long time ago. It was all this summer. And don't give me that stuff about you coming to your senses, because I don't buy it. I know it's going to take a long time for you to forgive no, me, but... I'm never going to forgive you. And you probably don't realize how much you hurt my father. You might say the same thing about yourself. How you've hurt your mother. Still sticking up for Donna? Great. Vicki? I have to know how many people are coming to Thanksgiving dinner because Helen asked no more stuff to get. Well, I hope you don't get another skinny turkey like you did last year. I knew you would bring that up. Wasn't even enough left for sandwiches. Well, at least we didn't have turkey hash for 14 weeks after. I love turkey hash. Can we change the subject? I thought we could invite Vince and Cher. No! What's wrong with that? Well, I think they have some place to go. Have you asked it? Uh, well, Cheryl is going to Julianne's, and, well, maybe you should ask Vince. That's what I just said. Is he here? Oh, he will be. It's his turn to watch the turkey. I thought I smelled turkey. Yeah, uh, we made it for St. Elmo's Church. Why are you cooking turkeys for St. Elmo's? Well, they're for Mary McKinnon. Are you up to something? Why don't you finish your shopping before the store's close, okay? Well, what time is it? It's almost 1.30. I've got to get to Brava, and, um, I can't pick up the... I'm never going to make this. Don't look at me. Well, where's Amanda when you need her? Someplace else, always. She wasn't home when I left, and she's not home now. Something's going on. Well, I'll bet you a quarter you can get to the bottom of it. Since when have you become so optimistic? Hi. Hello. What are you doing here? I came to see if the turkeys were ready. Well, I told you they'd be there at 3 o'clock, and they will. I don't want you to have to drive all the way over there. It's sweet enough of you to be donating them. Yeah, well, it's so tragic, you know. We have all these homeless people. Thanksgiving even makes it worse. At least there'll be a wonderful dinner for them, thanks to you. Tell you what, why don't I just wait here, and whenever they're ready, we'll pile them into uh, the car. Listen, they, there must be so much for you to do over at that church. Now, uh, uh, I'll see that they get delivered. I will. I... Oh. Hey. Hey, I didn't know you were here. Well, I'm not going to be for very long. I, uh, I, uh, I, I just she came just by came to... by to wish us a happy Thanksgiving. Now, wasn't that nice of her? Rex is completely trustworthy. Rex is completely ruthless. Look what he did to Kathleen. Oh, well, sometimes innocent people have to get hurt. Well, I just hope you don't turn out to be one of those innocent people. Rex loves me. Yeah. Then prove it. Not for your sake, but for mine. I dare you. All right. I will.
I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to turn me against Rex. What are you up to? Seeing another woman? Me? It's okay. You don't, you don't have to keep covering. I saw her in the corridor outside your room last night. Wait a minute. You saw a woman in the hallway? It's okay, Cass. If you're seeing someone else... You think I'm having an affair? You can do whatever you want. Because you, want, you, you know? saw someone in the hallway? Well, she was... She's wearing the perfume that you said was going to be a present for me. But that's impossible. Well, that's what I said. But, well, I started to put it all together, and I remembered when Felicia found that scarf. That was a present for you. Look, I just want us to be honest, okay? I, I, I don't know how you could even think that I would do some... Wait a minute, what time was this? That I saw the woman? Yeah, it was around 10 o'clock last night, right? Uh, it was during the party. That's why you were so upset. I wasn't upset. I know who you saw. There was someone in your room? I didn't want you to find out. It was a sales lady from the jewelry store. She was dropping off our wedding bands on her way home. In fact, I, I have them right here. See? Her <laughs> wedding bands. Yeah. Well, what about the perfume? Well, it's spilled in my drawer. I and mean, the whole suite smells like Lily of the Valley. Well, that's true. I had the desk drawer open to air it out, you know. That's why you smell that perfume. Matter of fact, I've noticed some people looking at me a little strangely lately. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I still think this is something we should talk about. What? Other women? I, if you want to see someone over the next three months... No, I'll understand. I mean, obviously... I can't expect you to remain celibate for that long. You're making it sound like I'm entering the priesthood. No, I, I just mean that... That I have to know. We, we can't let other people, you know, find out. We'll have to be very careful. We don't want my father to find out. Well, uh, that'll be easy since there's nothing to find out. Well, maybe it could be... Well, something as simple as taking the weekends off. Well, well, but we'll have to come up with a plausible excuse. You're not listening to me, are you? Look, all I'm asking is that you be honest with me. Okay? Because otherwise, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through this wedding. You're watching another world. The keys to her heart. Or to someone safe. Ryan's Hope is next. On SoapNet. With hundreds of hot toys, a free Lion King plush offer, and over $2,700 in savings, this year's big toy book yeah. is really big. Yeah, I told you, it's not so easy now, is it? You're going to talk or you're going to help? It looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> Look for the big toy book in newspapers and in-store for amazing deals like Go-Go My Walking Puppy, $39.99, Connects Rip and Rocket Roller Coaster, $64.99, or Free Simba or Nala Plush with a $100 purchase only at Toys R Us. Oh, this harness is really starting to chafe. Yeah, it's a little bit of a breaking in process. Hiding from blemishes at my age? No way. Now I can deal with them without drying my skin. Introducing a breakthrough new cleanser designed for your adult skin from Aveeno. Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. Only Clear Complexion has a blemish-fighting ingredient recommended by dermatologists, plus moisture-rich soy to even out but not dry out your skin. Me hide? Never. Discover nature's secret for clearly beautiful skin. Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. New from Aveeno. If you're like the average American household, you've got almost $8,000 in credit card debt. Did you know that at an 18% interest rate and making only minimum payments, it will take you 47 years to pay them off? At this rate, do you fear you will never get out of debt? Don't live in fear. Get help. Call Profina Debt Solutions, the nation's largest, most experienced nonprofit credit counseling service. Profina doesn't make loans. Instead, we work with over 50,000 creditors nationwide to lower your monthly payments. If you gather your bills and call one of Profina's credit counselors, within about 20 minutes, over the phone, 
we can help you avoid bankruptcy and get the collection calls to stop. Don't live in fear. Take charge of your credit and take back control of your life. There is help, and it's as close as your phone. Get your bills together and call Profina Debt Solutions. It's not a loan. It's a way out of debt. Sears now has Land's End. Come in to see the latest styles for the whole family. It's for him, but the way he'll look in it, it's kind of for me, too. This will be his favorite coat since his high school letter jacket. Dad says this will get him major points with Mom. Discover the top-dyed lightweight men's sweater, the warm, weather-resistant men's Merrimack jacket, or the combed cotton softness of the women's zip cardigan. The legendary quality, style, and value of Land's End. Now available at Sears. Sears. Good life, great price. I was in real pain. My joints really hurt. So I started taking two tablets, two tablets. then four, four, then more, four, and four, even, more. even more. Anyone with joint pain or arthritis knows what I mean. I was taking all these over-the-counter pills, and I thought, this can't be right. I mean, no matter what medication you take, over-the-counter, prescription, to be as safe as possible, you've got to take it the right way. Then I got the facts in this booklet, Getting Pain Relief Safely. It talks about over-the-counter pain relievers. Did you know over 100,000 people a year are hospitalized because of them? It also helped me evaluate my joint pain so I could find out if I'm getting the relief that works for me. I even learned how to talk to my doctor about my joint pain. See for yourself. Call 1-866-831-0400. They'll send you a copy free. Know the risks. Get the facts. Call today. <laughs> now I am really confused. We're still going to get married, though, right? I'll meet you at the altar. I'll be there. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, I have something to tell Donna. Can I help? No. You've done enough already. Something... I said made you suspicious of Rex? You're up to something, aren't you? Oh, I hate it when the phone does that. Just stand back. Get back. Hey, I'm getting back. No problem. Hello? What took you so long? I was hoping it was you. Tell him I said hi. Listen, I don't have much time to talk. Have you been with Nicole? Will you shut up? I've just spent the afternoon trying to repair the damage you've done. What damage? Nicole saw you in the hallway last night. So? So we can't afford to take any more chances. I want you to stay away from here from now on. But I have to see you. Then change your entire look. All right, Rex. And whatever you do, get rid of that perfume. Rex! Home in paradise? Nicole saw me in the hallway. It's a big deal. He told her that you were his girl, right? Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You mean he didn't tell her who you were? He can't take that chance. No, especially now. Not when he's got Nicole almost exactly where he wants her. The wedding is only a couple of days away. Yeah, and the wedding night. They mean nothing to each other. Yeah? One way to find out for sure. Check her suitcase. Her suitcase? Yeah, she's probably packing for the honeymoon, right? I don't care what she does. And if you check the contents of the suitcase, you're going to be able to find out what's in her mind. It doesn't matter. See, if she's packing... Excuse me. If she's packing hiking boots and uh, trail guides, that sort of thing, then you know that this honeymoon is just for appearances. I am not going through her suitcase. But if she has a lot of silky negligees or... No negligees at all. Now, Rex doesn't even have to know about it. Only you would. It'll look like I'm saying I don't trust him. No. It'll look like you don't trust her. And besides, it's only if you get caught. She's already seen me once. Of course, if you're afraid of what you'll find. <laughs> I am not afraid of anything. And the way I see it, this is your big opportunity. 
Maybe the relationship is purely platonic. But you'll never know for sure unless you go for it. Second number is seven. Two more digits and I'm out of here. Do you remember last Thanksgiving? Sure. Sure, we were here. It was the last time the whole family was... even Kathleen. Who spent all day trying to get you away from the football game. Yeah, well, I was so sure you weren't going to show up. You sure did. Well, we got a restaurant to run here. We've got work to do. Uh, so, I guess, uh, too busy for Thanksgiving this year, huh? Well, actually, I am, uh, busy. Working. Yes, I am. How about you? Well, I thought I'd stay here and keep the place open. You're not gonna celebrate Thanksgiving? Well, Cheryl's going over to Julianne's, and well, neither of us really feel like celebrating. Yeah, I know. I understand. Well, I guess I'll see you at the wedding on Friday, then. You're really going through with that? For Cass. Yes, he asked us to help. It is just not right, Mary. I want no part of that. Do you think the interview at the hospital went well? Well, I should be able to start any day now. That's great. Did you wear your hair like that for the interview? Oh, well, I thought it looked a little more respectable. <laughs> Whoa, Vicky! Don't you look great? Doesn't she? You don't slouch either. Well, mm. Tell me that after you taste the souffle. <sighs> oh, there it is. There's more souffle? Uh -oh. Don't ask me. I just got here. Well, you <laughs> keep Jamie company. I'll bring it up if it's safe. So, what's the, uh, the big occasion? For what? The new look, the hair. I mean, it's obviously not just for Thanksgiving, is it? Well, Jamie, what else would it be for? Well, I thought perhaps it's because you decided to go to your Aunt Nicole's wedding on Friday. I wish I could. What's stopping you? I love Aunt Nicole, Jamie, but I'm not prepared to see Donna right now. Vicki, Donna is going through a very hard time So right is now. my father. I'm not taking sides. Donna's going to need some help to get through all this. I'm her doctor. I know the stress she's under, and it's not good for her. How does she do it? Do what? Get everyone to feel sorry for her like she's not responsible for all the problems she's caused. Vicki, people have to be given a chance to learn from their mistakes. Well, I'm one of those mistakes. Vicky, Donna loves you, and I think you love her, too. Think what you want, Doc. Will you do me a favor? I'm not going to like this, am I? Go to the wedding and give your mother a little support. Is that in order? No. Good. I'll be going, and so will Lisa. William. What do you say? Oh. Well. Maybe I could make an appearance. Thank you. Don't thank me. You might just have to keep me in line. On the next Soap Talk, does seeing Thomas Calabro take Lisa back to her Melrose days? Come on, just really slap me. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, underwear for your man. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at that. And will Peggy McKay throw down some rhymes? Listen, you'll have to help me. Okay. Soap Talk, weeknights at 11, only on SoapNet. SoapNet serving up another world on Saturdays. Wet your appetite with this week's episodes of Another World. Saturday starting at 1. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7. You'll feel so beautiful underneath it all. You'll feel so confident underneath it all. You'll feel so carefree underneath it all. Because underneath, you're wearing new Carefree Perfect Fit Panty Liners. Made with a unique fabric, they provide light protection that's so comfortable, so flexible, it's like they become one with your underwear. 
with new Carefree Perfect Fit Panty Liners. Underneath it all. Well, uh, before the new women's styles came out, we were told, told our role on this project would be largely ceremonial. The experts were going to handle this one. So the experts came in and uh, they pretty much took over. We were able to contribute in other ways. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's too much. I'm so oh, I spilt it. We certainly don't have to be front and center on this. No. We're all team players. Yeah. There is no eye in fruit. Yeah, there is. Oh. It's a small one. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't well, matter. I Pregnancy. It's a beautiful thing. It can also leave ugly stretch marks. Anyone can get them, but you can help prevent them. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, Massage Cream, and Massage Lotion for Stretch Marks blend four key ingredients to increase skin elasticity, helping prevent and reduce the appearance of stretch marks. So your pregnancy is as beautiful as can be. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula for Stretch Marks, dermatologically tested. His debut album brought the world together. Now, he brings us closer. Josh Groban, Closer. The new studio album featuring You Raise Me Up. Josh Groban, Closer. Available at Target, Tuesday, November 11th. Over a million understand its strength. It can improve your energy, your shape. This is Bowflex Power Rod technology, and it can only be found on genuine Bowflex equipment, like the new Bowflex Extreme. Now you can get the results you want, the exercises you need, all at an affordable price. You've never seen this Bowflex before. Pick up the phone. And call the number on your screen now to get a free video or DVD. And check out the new Bowflex Extreme. You can have a high-performance body. Just look for real Bowflex power rod technology. Proven effective at burning fat and building muscle. Now you can own the new Extreme. For no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. The Bowflex Extreme is not available in stores. You know you're ready. Let Bowflex help you get there. Call now for a free video or DVD today, because your results matter. DirecTV is proud to bring you another exclusive preview event featuring the legendary Prince. What's the matter with your life? Highlighting a career spanning 25 years with over 100 million records sold. Prince, live at the Aladdin Las Vegas, captures the musical phenomenon at his best. Prince, free on Channel 103 every weekend in November. Be sure to pick up his latest DVD. On sale now. It's kind of a tough one this year, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of hard to find something to be thankful for. Well, that we made it through another year? Some of us. I know. You know, I used to save the wishbone for Kathleen. She, uh, I sure wish MJ was here. And Mary. The divorce is final. I have to learn how to cope. Oh, gee whiz, it's nearly 3 o'clock. What's the matter? Well, I promised Cheryl that I would wait here and I'd be here when she got back from choir practice. So? So I also promised St. Elmo's Church that I would deliver the Thanksgiving dinner for the homeless. Well, I'll take them over for you. Oh, Vince, I can't ask you to do that. Why not? I volunteer. I can shepherd those boys as well as you can shepherd them. Oh, hi, Rachel. Welcome home. Thanks. I wanted to ask you over to our house for Thanksgiving dinner. I already asked him. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I gotta get over to St. Elmo's. I'll see you later. Okay. Wait a minute. I... St. Elmo's, that name again. Yeah, kind of sticks in your head, doesn't it? What are you ever going to learn? Well, the holidays can be very romantic. They can also be very lonely. So I kill two birds with one stone. <gasps> Speaking of which, what? I've got to get those turkeys and I've got to get over to Brava. I'm never going to make it. Did you ever find Amanda? No, I called. I can't find her. But I'm going to stop by at the house before I go to Brava. Maybe I can find her there. Okay, see. good luck. Something tells me that this is going to be a Thanksgiving we will all remember. 
What changed your mind? I told you. I talked with Cass. And he reassured you completely. Donna, he's not having an affair. Are you sure? Trust me. Sometimes a woman just knows. Uh, this is supposed to make me feel better. What is that? It's, it's for making a, a seating chart for the reception. Now, don't change the subject on me. Look, don't worry. Cass is a really wonderful man. <sighs> Nicole, did you really want to clear all of this up, or are you just relieved to find out that he says he's not having an affair? Donna, he's not. And you're really happy? <laughs> I really am. Is that so bad? As of Friday, I'm going to be Mrs. Cass Winthrop. Uh, yes, but remember, name only. Maybe and, uh, maybe not. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, I have to finish packing for the honeymoon. <laughs> Nicole, Nicole, now you're not getting serious about Cass, are you? Nicole, will you answer me? Now, that's what I call a corn souffle. Mm, not bad, huh? Mm. It's so good, I don't think we need the turkey. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys eating already? Speaking of turkeys. <laughs> what is that? Corn souffle. Well, don't just sit there. Give me a fork. <laughs> Here you go. Mmm. 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 Your hair looks great. Thanks. <laughs> What's the verdict on this souffle? It's a masterpiece. An absolute masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that all of us are finally here together. <laughs> it is amazing, isn't it? You know, I'm sorry about the other night. It's okay, really. I'll make it up to you. You don't have to, Adam. Well, what if I want to? Sounds good to me. I could make it. I'd love to. You're kidding. You mean we really have a date? Well, don't call it a date. Just call it a match, because you haven't seen me dance yet. Yeah, well, I could take you two out of three. <laughs> oh, you think so? You are. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to interrupt. The maid said you were in here. That's okay, John. Can I talk to you for a minute? Listen, uh, why don't we uh, go into the kitchen for a while and help Ellen clean up the mess a little bit? Yeah. Come on. Come on, Vicky. What's up? That guy that I met in jail, uh, Rafferty, came to see me again. I figured he would. He knows I'm a vet. Yeah, we heard he was in Nam too. So what haven't you told me? Did he try and tell you that uh, he could help out your buddies? Yeah, something like that. What did he want? He said something about a delivery. In Chicago, across the lake. He wanted to use my boat. What did you say? I told him that I would think about it. Now, you said this guy is a dealer? Well, it's a little more than that, really. He runs a network of dealers, guys that he got hooked on drugs and nom. He keeps them hooked here. He keeps them under control. Why can't you just pick him up? Well, we have from time to time on small things. That's how you ran into him in jail. But nothing sticks? His name's Teflon on the street. He keeps those guys hooked on drugs, huh? As if they don't have enough problems already. Oh, man. So what is it? Partners? I'll think about it. Can I get out this way? I don't think that Vicky was too thrilled to see me. Sure. I didn't know that you could see the love estate from here. Yeah? Must be pretty lonely over there these days, huh? Yeah, there's just Donna and Bridget and... What is it? No way. No way. John, what is it? John! 
Follow the legacy of the Ryans next with back-to-back -back episodes of Ryan's Hope. Then JR is sure to stir up some trouble on Dallas. Only on SoapNet. Maria? If you love Maria's return from the dead... My heart can't me. You'll think you're dreaming when Bobby Ewing steps out of the shower. You're nuts. Dallas. Weekdays at 1 and 6. Only on SoapNet. Go naked. Well, nearly. Alme Nearly Naked, a weightless liquid makeup. One touch on the pad gives you flawless coverage that feels naked, only nicer. Nearly Naked from Alme, hypoallergenic. You'll feel so confident underneath it all. You'll feel so carefree underneath it all. Because underneath, you're wearing new Carefree Perfect Fit Panty Liners. Light protection that's so comfortable, so flexible, it's like they become one with your underwear. New Carefree Perfect Fit Panty Liners. I said it wasn't going to happen to me. But it did. If you've been hospitalized with heart-related chest pain or a certain type of heart attack, what doctors call ACS, talk to your doctor and call 1-800-459-0151 for your free information kit. There's so much to know. You'll receive our booklet about the myths and realities of heart attack and stroke, plus a glossary of terms and questions that could help you talk with your doctor. You'll get information on what can cause a heart attack or stroke. You'll learn how platelets in your blood can form clots, which may block blood from getting to your heart or brain, and the roles different medicines play, such as a prescription medicine called Plavix. Find out how Plavix, taken with aspirin, plays its own role in keeping platelets from sticking together and forming clots, which helps keep blood flowing. Added to aspirin and your current treatment, Plavix goes beyond what you're taking to help raise protection against heart attack or stroke. If you have a medical condition that causes bleeding, such as a stomach ulcer, you should not use Plavix. The risk of bleeding may increase with Plavix and when you take Plavix with certain other medicines, including aspirin. Review your medicines with your doctor to minimize this risk. Additional rare but serious side effects could occur. Learn more. Call 1-800-459-0151 and find out how to add more protection against heart attack or stroke. bringing these. Well, I'm just, I'm just helping out. I didn't know better. I think you were following me. If you knew better, you wouldn't have walked away in the first place. Anybody home? Hi, Mom. We're all in the kitchen. Oh, including Amanda? I had a dream on. Haven't you at least seen her? Uh, not today. Honey, I'm getting worried. I mean, I called Sam's off. There wasn't any answer. Do you think maybe she got upstairs and nobody heard her? Well, I don't think so. No. What did Cass say to you? I mean, you're acting so different. Well, it wasn't what he said. Oh, well, would you like to explain that? I think this marriage of convenience might turn out to be more than convenient. Nicole, are you saying I think he cares for me? I really do. Oh, honey. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing in here? Hey, who are you? 